Well, welcome back. Arctic cold front settling south of the area and that's ushering in that cold Canadian air. It's going to be with us really for the next several days. Temperatures continue to drop. We actually had our high back at midnight and that was 37 degrees. Currently sitting at 22 in Elmira, also low 20s in Dansville. 15 the current temperature in Bradford and 28 right now in Williamsport. Factor in the winds, single digits for most locations. Nine right now in Elmira, eight in Dansville. Below zero for the wind chill values in Bradford and feeling like four above for the wind chill value in Binghamton. Radar maps continuing to show snow showers kind of peppered across the viewing area. Uh, you kind of get hit with a snow shower, some of which could be briefly heavy, and then you break out in a little bit of clearing, and that's going to be the case here as we head into the evening hours as well. No real organized areas of steady uh, snow shower activity. It just kind of uh, comes and goes as moisture comes in from the north and west and pushes off towards the south and east. So be prepared for changeable conditions here, uh, not only tonight, but in the parts of tomorrow as well. Tomorrow's planner showing uh, limited sunshine, but the threat for a couple snow showers as well. Gusty winds and temperatures quite cold. So if you're heading out to the St. Patrick's Day Parade tomorrow in Horse Edge, it gets uh, underway at 2 o'clock, forecasting 22 degrees. But again, you factor in the winds. Wind chill values will be in the single digits. So uh, I hope you're out there and say hi. And uh, definitely had to dress appropriately with the winter gear for sure. Here's a look at future track here going through the overnight period tonight. Again, a couple flurries and passing snow showers. Light limited accumulations will be possible. Similar conditions for our Saturday. A couple snow showers here and there, gusty winds and bitterly cold temperatures. Snow showers will tend to die out a bit going into Sunday, but we still can't rule out a couple flurries and temperatures remaining well below average for this time of year with highs in the lower 20s. Then on to next week, take a look at the computer models here. Many of them have an area of low pressure over the Midwest teaming up with an area of low pressure coming up along the coast. And this purple line indicates the uh, rain snow line. So anything to the north and west would be in the form of snow. And uh, this particular model has a formidable storm. A nor'easter here just off the New Jersey coast. This would be going into Tuesday, bring uh, several inches of snow our way. But a little jog to the left or right could mean a different outcome for us here in the Twin Tiers. So again, not set in stone just yet, but it's something that certainly bears watching in the coming days. Ski resorts be happy. Here's a Greek Peak Mountain uh, ski report for you. And uh, 12 trails currently open at Greek Peak, Bristol 17, Holiday Valley with 29 trails currently open. Certainly they're welcoming these colder temperatures. Forecast 34 today, 37 was the unofficial high. Nine tonight with a couple snow showers, more snow showers, windy conditions tomorrow. 22, our five degree guarantee. Of course, we gain an hour of daylight on Sunday, 23 for a high. Watching for that snow on Tuesday, lingering snow showers Wednesday. And then we start to warm it up by St. Patrick's Day. But uh, again, looks like January for Saturday and Sunday. Well, it's back to reality for us, I uh, guess. Well, uh, unfortunately so. And of course, uh, we have the parade tomorrow. Yep. So we'll be there. Hope to see you out there as well. Say hi. Look closely because we'll be yeah. bundled up <laughs> under the hats and the heavy jackets. But we'll be there. All right. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Thank you, Joe.